Hello YouTube, welcome back to Magical Melissa. I have another update for you today on my Harry Potter collection. I got some more new items, so I'm gonna show you those. This I already had. This is my Harry Potter cookbook. This one I already had. All of these are new to me. They're used. My boyfriend picked these up off of Facebook Marketplace from a girl that lived nearby us and it was only $50 for the full set which they're not all matching exactly they are all the American editions but they're not all the same um, size and not... these ones are like glossy the first two and then the rest of them are like this matte color and then these three are short but the rest of them are tall but it's fine because look at my book collection growing I now have two full sets of the books. I've got this full set and that full set, and I've got half of that illustrated set, and the first of the Mina Lima. I've also got Tales of Beetle the Bard here, which I'm super excited. This was in the bundle. It looks so cute. And I've never read any of this before. I think I've actually read like a, maybe one of the tales, but I've never read like the actual full book. So I've got that now. So these are used books. They're not brand new, although some of them look really nice. This one looks excellent. The cover looks really good. It's really shiny. It's in excellent condition, but actually, let's see here. If you take the cover off, there is actually some like, some wear on the actual book. You can see like the spots and it's like a little gross looking, but it's fine. There's some more like down here, but it's all right. It's all right, especially since I'm glad they kept the um, cover actually looking really nice. And then the second one's cover looks not quite as nice, but still fine. I'm actually so salty because my boyfriend surprised me with these books after I got home from work and i was so i was so excited about them because i had no idea he was like before i went to work he was like i have a surprise for you but you can't have it until after work and i was like oh, okay so i got home from work and he gave me just he handed me the goblet of fire just that one and i was like oh my god how did you get this i was like this is so pretty i'm so glad that you got this because it goes with my deathly hollows that i already have and then he just brought out this whole box with the whole series in it so he gave it to me and i started crying i always cry when he gets me harry potter stuff i feel like anytime i get like cool harry potter stuff i just cry because i'm just so excited and i'm just so happy and i think it's so beautiful okay so the first one has harry here flying a broomstick he's chasing a snitch and then there's a unicorn in the background and the three-headed dog. Isn't this picture a little strange? Like, I just feel like Dumbledore just looks like sketchy and he's just acting weird and I don't understand what this owl's like actually doing here in this scene. And like, why is Harry also like playing Quidditch at the same time? I'm just very confused by the artwork of this, but I think it's very pretty. I just don't really understand what the scene means as a whole. I also have the Jim Dale version of the audiobooks that has the same artwork on it, but I, I actually don't really like that audiobook that much. I'm really sorry, but I don't know. There's just like some weird changes to like the way they, they like Americanize some of it so that it's more, I don't know, maybe easy to understand and I'm just not a fan. And here's the Chamber of Secrets. This one's also glossy. It's got Harry. He's holding on to the tail feathers of Fox the Phoenix because he's getting taken out of the chamber. And then it's got a lot of like serpentine kind of imagery on it, which kind of gives away a lot of the plot if you ask me. But I guess it's just about his parcel tongue, so it's fine. And then over here on the back, you see Ginny and Ron, and they're holding on to Harry which is also a huge giveaway, which is kind of crazy. They give away so much stuff on the covers, but I guess most people probably know about the storyline. There is the basilisk eye looking out of the pipe, I believe, which I think that's pretty cool. Here's this one, the prisoner of Azkaban, which it has Harry and Hermione riding Buckbeak. 
up to Sirius's window when he's in the castle so they can free him. And then on the back is that Scabbers. Shout out to Kelsey Lynette, who got this book in 1999 from her aunt and uncle, which is very nice. Although she did not keep the book forever. The outside looks really nice and there's no like, it's not damaged at all. It looks beautiful. It's still in excellent condition. So I'm, I'm not upset that much that there's writing inside. At least no one will really see it, but eventually maybe I'll replace some of these ones for my set. And I also have like this used one. So maybe I'll make another complete set of these. Next, I have the Goblet of Fire, and, you know, I really think this is the book that I tried to read when I was really young, so I just feel like this artwork is really familiar, so I think it's the book that we had when I was really young and I attempted to read the series, but maybe that's why I didn't know what was going on. It was because it was book four, maybe. Here's Harry. He's holding his wand high and proud. That's really cute, actually, with like the magical like effect there. And then we have Floor and Victor Crumb and Cedric Diggory and Sirius is just creeping, which is fine. And then right in front of Harry is a dragon, apparently. He's holding the golden egg. And back there, there's some symbolism, I think, of the Death Eaters. And then on the back here, we have the Bobaton carriage. And the goblet. I actually am a little confused of, like, what is this thing in the background here? With things coming off of it? Hello? What is that? Next, we have the Order of the Phoenix. I think this one's very, very nice. So this is just Harry going through the, the Ministry of Magic, probably in a dream. Maybe that's why it's like this blue tone. Here goes the back. And here we have Mad-Eye Moody, and I believe that is Snape. And I don't know who that is, to be completely honest. Hmm. Well. I'm not sure who that is either. Karkaroff or... Uh, I'm just not... I don't know. Is that Barty Crouch Jr.? But that's Barty Crouch Jr., right? But here is like the forbidden doorway. The Harry is like trying to go through the whole time and he just cannot through his dreams. This is also actually a first edition, which we can see here on the copyright page. First American edition, July 2003. And this is in excellent condition. The next one. Half-Blood Prince has Harry and Dumbledore over the, I think this is supposed to be the Pensieve, although it could actually, actually I think it's the stone basin that Dumbledore has to drink all the liquid out of to get to the locket that is fake. And then on the back we have the Dark Mark in the sky, and that's Ron and Hermione and Ginny looking up at it. This one is also a first edition. Super good condition also. And then here is the Deathly Hollows, which is also a first edition. And this is also in excellent condition. Has Voldemort here on the back. Why does he look like that? <laughs> and then Harry on the front. They're about to duel. And this is my old copy that was from a library. I guess from a distance they look about the same, but this one is horrible. 
It's so damaged up here. It's so damaged all the way through. It's gross. It just has stuff like spilled in it and like the pages are just messed up. It's just like got stamps and just tape and I had to take the the bot that covers off of all of these books that I've got from the libraries and they're just why do libraries ruin books why do they want to take a perfectly good book and just cover it in stamps and tape and stickers and just just soil it you could just put one thing on it maximum and that's it and please try to use the kind of tape, the kind of stickers that just peel off easily so that we can recover the book. And the other new thing I got is these Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. I know it's not like the big fancy ones in like the tent shaped like container or whatever, but Still, it's like a part of my collection now, so I'm never gonna open them because I hate stuff that doesn't taste good. I will never do that, but I've tried them before and it's it's not my cup of tea, but they're gonna look great in my Harry Potter collection. Well guys, that's about it for today. So subscribe to my channel if you wanna see me get some new Harry Potter stuff in the future.